Hello, Bank Heist. You got my attention. You're getting your own video away from the other maps. Bank Heist! I suppose we're gonna be robbing a bank, or at least that's the theme, or maybe we're trying to play a security guard or a civilian and getting out of the heist. I'm not really sure. The picture doesn't tell much of anything. I mean, it just has a whole bunch of... whole bunch of debris scattered around the area, and it doesn't say anything. Leader, henchman, and tank. Oh, I guess we're playing as part of the heist. Well, I like the idea of going with tank because rocket launcher, and because the tank pretty much has everything you need in terms of a loadout. But... I'm just gonna choose randomly. Eeny, meeny, miny, leader. I am the damn leader, and you will listen to me. And you are enemies. You are enemies. You know what? I'm just gonna get going. Oh, I have five first aids. Oh, right. Infinite ammo's been turned on. Oh, um, the problem with infinite ammo is that this is pretty much my weapon now. And it'll become apparent very soon when you see more enemies. Infinite ammo's been turned on, so... Enjoy, guys! Oh, wait a minute. I was actually supposed to go go a different direction indoors. Oops, I went the wrong way then. I think I may have just gone the wrong way. Well, you know what? We'll stay outside anyway. There might be another sneaky way to get by. Hello, Control Zone Flamethrower, a guy that won't chase me and just lets me blow them up. Because that's what they do. They just stand there and let me blow them up. Well, you do that then. I know there's a vehicle there. They want me to take it. That's not happening. I'm not going in a vehicle. It leaves you way too vulnerable. Unless the vehicle becomes mandatory. Hey, guys! Someone should make a map out there. Who... Whoever's listening, make a map where a vehicle is mandatory to win. You know, like, put in stunt jumps. Make stunt jumps. <gasps> is that a rocket launcher? Oh, man. No. Oh. Anyway, as I was saying, whoever's listening and watching this video, make a map where you have to use a vehicle to win. Put in stunt jumps. And the jump, like the jumps, are the only way you can actually get through it. That'll be awesome. I've played one, a few of those maps already, and yeah, they're pretty fun. As I go along this way and look at all the exploding things, and I need to blow these barrels up before I go in, or it's just not going to be possible to get through. Oh, I'm being shot from behind. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Round two, the leader is dead, so it's up to the henchman to get out. The henchman must escape. The henchman must escape. What's this direction? You can't go that way. An invisible wall prevents you from being able to go that way. I shot that guy, and I'm just gonna heal as I go up the steps. I know that it might not I might not have had to have healed, but There, I'm just shooting that guy. Oh, he's gonna let me go up. Thank you, sir. I know, I know, it was like, you're wondering, why didn't I shoot them? Because I don't need to, apparently. Go away, flamethrower dude. I'm not your target. There's a flamethrower dude outdoors. He's not chasing me, he's just standing there. He's just gonna stand there, because that's what he does, apparently. They're just gonna stand there and let me do what I wanna do. Uh, I wonder if I can actually rock climb, break the map, and, you know, take a massive shortcut. Hey guys, look where I am! Yeah, it took a lot of work to get up here. It wasn't easy. But I basically had to go and grab one of the vehicles just so I could get up on top of these rocks. And I don't even think I can stay up on there. I'm still trying to climb the rock, the rocky wall and I'm basically just mashing the button and doing those pixel perfect jumps. Hoping that I can catch one of them. Uh, it still might not even be possible to get up here. But I'm still trying. I'm still trying. And I successfully managed to get up on top of the map. Awesome! And now I can just run for the end, I think. That's the military base over there where I died. And it leads to that, and it's just a big lake out there for some reason. 
Oh, there's a bridge, and there's the finish line, so I just have to reach that spot. I have to find a way to get down without killing myself. The high fall damage might actually annihilate me. The only modifier turned on is infinite ammo. So, yeah. And, oh, there's floating water there. There's floating water. But to be fair, I wasn't supposed to see that section of the map, so... Eh, take that for what you will. Alright, moment of truth. Can I get down this without dying? Nope. This is why you are only a henchman, because you could never think of the smartest ways to, to do the mission successfully. Now you're gonna have to watch the tank go at work, because he's the only one left alive! Ah ha 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 ha! Yes, I'm still gonna ignore those guys at the beginning, because I can. They're not mandatory to kill. I just ran by that guy and he didn't do anything for some reason. Ha ha ha! I don't know what that was about. I still have the remote bombs. Still got the remote bomb, just gonna to get rid of that guy, get him out of the way. I have to blow him up or he's not gonna let me outside. I have to blow him up, actually no I don't, I'm gonna blow him up anyway. Let's get rid of him, we're gonna get back to where I was. I'm not gonna bother going on top of the rocks this time, it's, it's way more trouble than it's worth. It's just better to stay in, in the map and play. It's one of the few times where yes, you should, you're better off actually staying in the map. And fighting, all, doing all these battles. It just takes too long to get up on top of those rocks. But yeah, we're gonna go. Gonna do the win. Hey, there's another way to break up there, get up there, but... I'm still gonna stay in the map anyway this time. I'll just stay, stay in and... I'm gonna go after that rocket launcher. Get, they're gonna dump this rocket launcher. This rocket launcher is a piece of shit. Give me that other rocket launcher because it fires straight. This rocket does not fire straight. As you can see, I just did that and it stopped doing much. Uh, give me that rocket launcher. Where is it? Uh, what? Did you guys just see that rocket? I have no idea why this stuff happens to me. This rocket launcher is a piece of shit. This rocket launcher is a piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oh, I need to heal already. Dude! Just give me a chance to take a breath. Then, my god, seriously. You're the one that killed me last time, too. I've had these so many first aid kits on this begin this part. Because these enemies have weapons that are doing so much damage to me. Oh, you're on the turrets. No wonder it hurts so bad. No wonder I'm taking so much damage, because they're on turrets. This gun's so inaccurate, it's not firing straight. Dude, what the frick? I was aiming directly at him. I hate this gun so much. It doesn't want to work. Finally! Finally, it works. You and your shotgun madness things. Let's get rid of that. Where's the rocket launcher? Where's that rocket launcher that was on the ground around here? Is it even here this time, or do, is it not here at all? It's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. There it is. Dump this rocket. Get, get pick up this one. This one fires better. You have better chance of aiming correctly with this because the other one does not fire straight. The other one's more meant for air. Like, it's more meant for the main campaign when you're battling those these aircrafts that come after you. Uh, it's it's better uses there and not here. The in this mode you don't have many aircrafts after you. I don't think that the enemies will even get into the aircrafts. They'll get into the helicopters, but not. I haven't seen any aircraft fighting yet. And there's this guy that's trying to fire his gun at me, and I'm, I may have just stalled him long enough to be able to get moving. I don't think that got him. There's an enemy at the end as we saw last time before I died, so I'm just gonna fire like that. That's probably going to get their attention, but at least it'll be enough time for me to get close in. 
Oh, they might actually be friends. Oh, you're allies. I actually didn't have to fight you. Damn. I've been friendly firing. Mutiny! Mutiny! I'm gonna win on fire! Oh my god, guys. I made an amazing discovery with this map that you'll want to see. Check it out. No, I just didn't really feel it enough to give it a full like. I can't give it the full support. One of the many problems that's blocking me from giving this a full support is the enemies with the flamethrowers weren't doing anything. They stood in one spot and didn't come after me. Their control zones locked them in. Also, what's up with that beginning part where the enemies just let me run past them? They didn't even try to fire. Some of them did, but not all of them did. They didn't attack for some reason. They just let me go by. And I, that's just the problem, so I, I just, I can't support that. It is a good map though, I will give it that much. It is a good map. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!